What's up, guys? Welcome to the Ghost Motel, and today we'll, I will be your host with my uh, ghost busting weapon of choice. And today we're using the Silent Galil with Red Dot. Um, and the Silent Galil is no secret weapon by any means, but when you slap a red dot on it, I think it improves it tremendously, at least from my experiences. Because I can't use the Galil for crap without the red dot. I don't know what it is, I must just suck. But I fast forward through a ton in this game, a ton, because basically it's me hunting ghosts all game. And normally a gameplay like this I would not keep. I would just be like, hey, it's a good score, and I do um, pretty <laughs> pretty good for a, TDM, a mercenary TDM, which I don't ever play, and I rarely, rarely, rarely play by myself. And a lot of you guys probably noticed that in my gameplays. There's always people playing with me. The reason why I do that is because I just have more fun playing with other people. It's not so much that... I get frustrated. I mean, it's just boring playing alone, especially in this point in Black Ops life. Um, everyone runs ghosts. Everyone plays so cautiously. And you'd think, you know, this far into the game, you'd think people would, you know, be like, hey, why don't we move around a little bit more? But nope, not the case whatsoever. Um, but this is a class I had been wanting to show you guys. It's, um, like I said, it's definitely no secret. And I, when I first sat down to do this, I had the total, my intentions were to get a gameplay using this weapon because, um, I've had a lot of success with this lately, especially when it comes um, to, you know, kind of having stealth without giving up Flak Jacket. Because I think Flak Jacket to me is really important. Um, it helps me stay alive. And what I've found with the Galil is a lot of people seem crippled by Sleight of Hand. They seem like they have to have Sleight of Hand. And I think that this is a good class to help you get away from that. Um, I, know, I don't know. It's just... The Galil seems like you can use less ammo, therefore you don't need Scavenger, which allows you to use, um, you know, w like Flak Jacket or whatever you prefer. I think that's important because Scavenger is another one of those things that really cripples you, and I think it, it gets you a lot of deaths from nades and stuff. So as you as we're speaking about nades, look at that fail nade right there. But look at this. This could be one of the my worst SRs of all time because it, I call it in, it takes me forever to run over here. And I run in here, and we got, like, freaking three ghosts surrounding the bar and I'm like well I don't really know what to do right here so I run over here uh, I think I'm gonna kill that guy don't get him I run over here trying to shoot this guy in the head just get hit three hit markers which makes no sense and then I get killed by his ghost buddy so pretty much a fail right there but that's alright uh, I'll hit him back come right back at him <laughs> but it's funny because I didn't get any kills in that SR so that was kind of a letdown it's pretty much a wasted SR as you see even my teammates are using ghosts in this game but yeah, like I was saying, you don't have to rely on Scavenger, which makes uh, opens up more possibilities. Because the Galil, I feel like I can be more precise with my shots and get more kills with their an with the ammo. And then far as like sleight of hand, I feel like I don't have to reload as much with the Galil because it does have a larger magazine. I mean, five bullets doesn't, may not seem like a lot, but in the great scheme of things, oh, watch this! This is hilarious. I see that guy through the wall. Like I see his feet poking out, so I put the jammer there to try to get him to come over there. And sure enough, he is a uh, pretty nearsighted and he just runs over there and, and gets it and we're gonna fast forward some more as we uh, look for some more ghosties and hey look a ghost under the bridge uh, my mom always said that you know there were trolls under the bridge but apparently in black ops there are ghosts hiding under the bridge and that seems like to be a favorite spot for for ghosties just to uh, post up and I don't know what he was really doing there I guess he was aimed down sight down the middle of the fairway which is pretty boring but whatever whatever he has fun doing you know don't want to don't want to tell people how to play the game by any means. But like I was saying, you know, you don't need sleight of hand as much with the Galil. You'll notice I don't reload a lot unless I know for a fact that there's no one around me. I know that's easier said than done in Black Ops, and I hear this guy right here, which will bring me to my next point, is I've been run running Ninja Pro a ton lately. Yeah, I feel like Ninja Pro, I don't know, ever since the patch, I feel like I can hear people a lot more. So, I mean, the sound isn't great in this game. But for the most part, I can hear people a lot better than I ever could in the lifetime of this game. So that's nice. I've been able to sound whore people quite a bit more than, than I was ever used to. So it's been a fresh change. I like, I like being able to hear people, and Ninja Pro has kind of unlocked that for me. Um, for, you know, for the m first two-thirds of the game, um, not this game, but like the lifespan of Black Ops, I didn't even waste a perk spot slot on uh, Ninja because it was just pointless. Ninja was just a pointless perk. It didn't do anything. I mean, it was good in game battles where everyone ran headsets, but um, Tac Mask was always a better choice. And I do have Tac Mask Pro. I'm sure you guys know that if you watch any of my videos, but um, for the most part, Tac Mask Pro is a better choice for pub matches, especially in Domination. But since I was playing Mercenary TDM, I've been, uh, been rocking Ninja a lot lately. And it's, I don't know, it seems a lot better. Um, I almost hate, I hate hearing my footsteps now whenever I take it off, so 
I've become kind of reliant on that again. So there's been a lot of uh, ups and downs in this game for me. And uh, I've gone hot and cold with a lot of these perks. But right now, this is a setup that I'm loving. I just, um, something about it is just amazing. I love the fact that um, I don't have to rely on scavenger. I know I can't emphasize that enough. Um, the Gwil is just a weapon that seems like you can just, it's, it's a really good rushing assault rifle. Um, the FAMAS used to be the best rushing f assault rifle, but with the aim down sight change being so like, uh, it's so slow now. It's almost, um, did you see me shoot him in the back of the head? It's almost pointless to use the FAMAS to rush now because of that. Because the AUG is a good option, but I hate the recoil on the AUG. So mostly I just opt for the Gwil. Um, the Gwil is just, has good hip fire, has good damage, and it's just a good rushing weapon all around. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to ask you guys, as I know this is kind of a, a weird commentary because I'm kind of just all over the place, just, just kind of rambling on about this gameplay. If you guys would be interested in seeing more videos like, like more tip-based videos like this, because I know that at this point in Black Ops, it's pretty boring to uh, sit back and talk about ghosts and, you know, complain about ghosts complain about um you know second chance all that stuff's been beaten to death so um let me know what you guys would like to see would you like to see more class acts i know i i know i always ask you guys guys that but it seems like class act is just so boring now because no one really cares about classes they're more interested in like modern warfare 3 and zombies but anyways this is starting to draw to an end if you haven't tried out the wheel silent with red dot you know obviously you need to have warlord but it is a awesome awesome setup you should definitely try it out um, as you see me get my second SR of the game. Is that the second? Yeah, I think it's the second. And I'm going to run over here and go ahead and slit this little ghost bee's throat. And that is the game. So I go to, what is that, 26 and 3 or something like that. It was a pretty good game. Uh, but for the most part, I just wanted to give you guys a little look at the current class I'm using. Since I don't, I know that a lot of you guys like to see tips. And this is one of those tip videos. And it's in TDM, something you probably don't see a lot of on my channel. So I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.